Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a page curl on Alight Motion today. Now this is a part of their new update and it does require the premium version. Uh, I love this transition because it's really popular and like soft and aesthetic edits. So yeah, let's just get started. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to add on page curl. And it is in the 3D section and it is right here. It's right underneath the hexagonal prism. <laughs> now. First things first, you can change all the settings that you'd like to change. Uh, I like to make the radius a bit more intense, just like this. And I also like to go to the alpha and turn it down at the beginning. And then keyframe it to right about here and turn it up to 100% because I like the way you can kind of fade in and see the photo. And that's all I'm going to change. You could also change the angle on it. You can make it go down straight. I like it coming down from the corner, so I leave it at 30, 45%. Uh, now we'll go to progress and turn it up to 150%. This is going to be your first keyframe. I do 150 just because I kind of like a slower opening of the transition. Make sure it's at 150, otherwise your new photo is just going to show up and then I'll just go back to your old photo so we don't want that. So make sure your first keyframe is at 150%. Go to the end, add a keyframe, and change it all the way down to zero. Now, you can do any type of graph that you want on this. I prefer a very subtle out graph that's kind of like this, and it'll end up looking like this. I like the way, I like how slow it is, and if you wanted it to be slower, you can make the graph slower as well. I'm gonna increase this right here. And then, since that's done, since I like the way that looks, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go on to color and light, and I'm gonna go to exposure and gamma, and I'm going to add two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end to give it a little bit of a flash. And this will be what the final transition looks like. Now, you can add on anything to this transition that you want. Uh, I just like it looking a little bit more simplistic, and I'm definitely going to be using this in future edits. And yeah, I know today's tutorial was short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and comment down below any tutorial requests you guys may have. And yeah, I love you guys.